It says board meeting and it's just a bunch of birds. Just a bunch of birds. Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is a thrift haul. I just haven't gone thrifting, and when I did go thrifting here and there, when I went to a thrift store, there just wasn't like anything that was like, Michelle, you need to buy me. And then yesterday, the thrifting gods were like, here's all these things, Michelle. You can't afford all of them, so choose wisely. And I don't know if I did choose wisely, because there was a few things that I had to leave behind that I really wish I would have gotten, but at the same time, it's like, I still don't need all these things. Anywho, so I went thrifting yesterday, and I found some really great stuff but I went thrifting the other day because I just wanted to see what there was out there. Usually my thrift hauls are like not clothing based lately but this one this one is so there's a lot of clothing in this one but I'll just show you what I found first that's not clothing. First found these here it was five dollars and it's just spools of thread white and black. You can't go wrong with these these are like not too expensive but they are more expensive than the basic thread that I normally buy. I don't have like the attachment for for my sewing machine. I don't even know if my sewing machine comes with the attachment that these spools can go on. What I want to use these for is the bobbins because nothing annoys me more when I am sewing and the bobbin runs out. The only color I have is like on the spool threaded through my sewing machine, which means I have to like unthread it all to wind up the bobbin. And that is like super annoying. I bought these because when the bobbin runs out, I don't have to unthread my thread from my sewing machine. I can just leave it in there, wind the bobbin, put the bobbin back in and continue on my merry way. And then while I was there, I was really contemplating buying this. I wasn't too sure if I wanted it because it's not enough fabric to make anything, but it was too cute to leave in the store. So I bought this material. It was $6. That's why I was like hemming and hawing because I'm like, that's $6 that I could put towards like a new shirt or a new sweater that I'll have more use out of. It's 90s dinosaurs. Like I can't say no to 90s dinosaurs. If you know me, obviously, my name, Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, I like dinosaurs. Being almost 32 years old, which I've been thinking I've been 32 this whole entire time, but it's not for another two weeks, but I've been thinking I've been 32 for the last year. It's very hard to find dinosaur themed things unless you're willing to pay money for them because either it's more geared towards like kids and I want more like sophisticated dinosaurs. I mean like these are not sophisticated dinosaurs, but these are the dinosaurs from my youth. So I had to buy it. When I see dinosaur things in the wild, I have to buy it. Like my dinosaur dinosaur dress that I made cost me over $90 in fabric. I spent over $90 in fabric. It was like $30 a meter. So when I tell you that I come across dinosaur fabric for $6, kind of have to pick it up. Again, I'm not too sure what I want to make out of it. Like if I had a child, which is probably never going to happen, this would be an adorable baby blanket. But again, that's probably never going to happen. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll just make a blanket for myself because yeah. Anywho, that's all the non-clothing things. Time to get into the actual clothing that I bought that I'm very happy with. I like to do it in terms of when I bought stuff. So yesterday I went to three thrift stores. So the first one I think was in Smithville and it was just like a little charity shop. So everything was like really reasonable price, but I found one thing in the Christmas section, which isn't really Christmassy, but I'm kind of glad it was there because I spotted it. I found this sweater with some birds on it. It says board meeting and it's just a bunch of birds a bunch of birds. Yeah, so they're just at a little board meeting and they're probably discussing some bird law, you know, what birds do. I think they put it in that section because it is red and green. The price was only $5. It's in a size large. The brand is Morning Sun. This is giving me definitely mid 90s vibes and I'm in love with it. I have been looking for sweaters like this, especially like, you know, Northern Reflection. They usually have a lot of these sweaters, but I've been looking for like sweaters like this with the little like, you know, fake turtleneck inside. I love my turtlenecks. And it's very hard to find as well as when I do find them, they're usually at like those, um, you know, the people that go out thrift things for five bucks and then upsell it for like $30. That's where I usually see them. I am not paying those prices. So finding this for myself is amazing. Do I wish there was cats on it? You know it. I really like this. And then after that, we went to Valley Village in Ancaster, which is like usually hit and miss. Usually I find a bunch of stuff or I find nothing. Yesterday I found a lot of stuff and I actually had to put some stuff back. I regret it. So the first item that really caught my eye was this sweater here. I don't know, just something about grandpa sweaters. I'm just gravitated towards that I just need to buy. The brand is Boulevard Club. It is in a size large and it was $11. This does not need to be $11, okay? It does not need to be $11. And I know that if I went into like a Winners or a Marshalls or even a Walmart, sweaters like this would probably go up 
words from like 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars. So like I shouldn't be complaining that it's 11 dollars, but I'm complaining that it's 11 dollars because 11 dollars is a little bit too much. Anywho, I just really like the color scheme and it's plaid and um, I wanted it, so I bought it. I also had a two dollar coupon, so when you do donate stuff to Value Village, they'll give you like a 20 percent off coupon, but then if you fill out like uh, some online survey, you get an extra two dollars off. So I had that on me. So technically this costed me what, eight ninety nine, nine dollars It's kind of giving me like Christmas vibes, but not intense Christmas vibes. I like subtle Christmas vibes. Another item that caught my eye was this sweater here. I thought it was so cute. And the fact that I'm kind of getting into pink colors, elder emo, pink, uh-uh, get that color away from me. Now it's like, wow, Michelle, pink looks really good on you. You should wear it more often. I saw this and I just like rainbow things. They're just really cute. And I really liked how like the pink and red were on here. Cause again, I like wearing pink now. It was $5 great. I would have thought this would have been like, you know, marked up a little bit more because I feel like this is more on the trendier side. And of course it is Tradition, that brand that I love. It's Tradition, Northern Reflection, and I think Reflection Collection or Reflections or something, all that I absolutely love. And it is the Country Collection. It's in a size 16. It doesn't look like it's a 16. It's kind of has a little bit of weight to it. Like if you can see how it's like kind of bouncing, there's some stretch to it. I think this would look adorable underneath my overalls. I know. I just, I have been buying items that will look good underneath the overalls. Well, they're not overalls. They're the, the overall dress that I made. And I only have one of them. So I think I need to start making more of those dresses. That way I can wear more of these and not wear the same dress every single day. The next item I found is this one here. Super cute. It is by Carol Reed, size medium, and this one was also $5. I love the little mock neck, and I like how it does have short sleeves because I like to wear cardigans, I like to wear sweaters, and sometimes when I wear like a cardigan with like a long sleeve shirt underneath, it's just a little too bulky. Not that like I'm too hot or anything like that, it's just, it's the weight of it and the bulkiness. Think of yourself in the 90s when you were wearing heavy duty pants, a big bulky sweater, and then your parents put you in that snowsuit that made you just look like this all the time. That's how I feel when I have too many layers on. It's just uncomfortable. The last item that I bought at that Valley Village is this really cute, I think it's like a three quarter sleeve orange knit. The brand is Al... Ally, Ally, it's the A-L-I-A, -A, you know, the grandma brand. And it was $7, which, you know. But I really like this collar. This collar is giving me vintage vibes and that's why I bought it. I think wearing this on its own would be like a little bit too tight for me and like uncomfortable. And that's another thing is that when things are too tight on me, I feel uncomfortable, not because of the tightness, but what, how it like shapes my body. I do not like it. That's why I like to wear these say underneath a dress, like a sleeveless dress or underneath overalls. I think a lot of people wear orange during October and then after October they're like orange is done it's like no orange is like one of my favorite colors so I'm going to continue wearing it orange and mustard yellow year round for me I wish I had this like in every color like could you imagine this like in a white and a black and a blue and a purple and a mustard yellow and a red they probably all came in those colors I don't know it's just giving me vintage vibes and I love this and then we stopped off at a little again charity shop in Grimsby I go in there and it's either hit or miss depending on their sales sometimes they'll have furniture in there and it's like stupid pricey and then other times they'll be like all the furniture is 75% off but anytime I want to go in there looking for furniture not that I need furniture anymore but anytime I want to go in there looking for furniture it's always uh super pricey but anywho I actually found some really cute clothes not furniture. So I did find two items there. One is like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I found it. And the other one's pretty cute too. So I'll show you the pretty cute one first. So I found this shirt here. I absolutely love it. It's definitely giving me 1960 vibes with the print. The brand is Jessica. I believe that's a Sears brand. I don't think Sears is around anymore. And it is in a size medium. I loved it because of the turtleneck. I think that wearing this on its own would be a little bit too tight on me. Like when I mean tight, I just mean like too revealing and I don't really like that. Again, I buy these so then I can wear them underneath dresses because I'm just obsessed with that. I think this was $7. It is a little bit tighter than I liked because I did try it on because if I don't like it, I got to return it. The last item I know I shouldn't have bought because I already own a bunch of coats. But I saw this coat and I'm like, for the price, it's coming home with me. I found this vintage coat. It's 
amazing. I love this color. The only problem with it, as you can see, is that it is missing a button up here. So I just have to add a button. But the way the hood rests, it covers it anyways. So it doesn't even have to be the exact same button because no one's going to see it. It does have like that kind of crunch to it. So I don't know if it was ever worn because I feel like if it was worn, this would have been like worn in a little bit. I have a problem with coats. I have a problem with coats. Trust me. Looking at this, I was reading the inside and this is not real fur so don't have to worry about that and then the outside is suede and I hopefully it's okay in the winter time because if you've seen that episode of Seinfeld then you know suede does not go well with water but I mean it is a winter coat so I feel like they made it so that way you can wear it if it's snowing or if it's raining out. What really drew me to this is that like the fit of it. I really like how it has like this tie, has some nice deep pockets. Unfortunately, there is no pockets on the inside, which is always a bonus, even though I don't really use them that much. I just like knowing that they're there. This coat was $12, $12. If this was like say 17 or 20 or anything above that, I would not have bought it. But because it was the low, low price, I had to buy it. I know I have a lot of coats. Trust me, I have a lot of coats but I don't have this type of coat. So that's another thing that I do is when I do find a coat that I really like, again, I live in Canada, I have to wear a coat from like November, which is now until probably March. And a lot of times when I go out shopping or if I go somewhere, I don't really take my coat off. So I like to have my coat just be another accessory or another element to whatever I'm wearing. As I don't want to just be boring and wear the same coat all winter, I like to, you know, switch it up a bit. I think this one is just so beautiful. I just love it so much. I don't know why I went into an accent there, but I just love this so much. For $12, I, uh, I needed to buy this. And that is the thrift haul. I, uh, I just really love that coat. I really love that coat so much. I did not think I was going to find a coat that cute, but I did and I have it and I'm ready for winter, although I am not ready for winter and I do not want to drive in the snow, but I'm ready for the cold aspect, for the snow aspect. No, I hate it. I think that is it. If you are new to my channel and you like sewing, crafting, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party. I think that is it. So y'all have a good day now.